Hi, thanks for joining me today. In this video, we're going to look at the significant figure rules for adding and subtracting. Please note that these rules are different from multiplication and division, so it's important that we pay attention to which operation we're using. Now the rule we're going to follow in this video is to round to the least number of decimal places contained in the calculation. Now this is different from multiplying and dividing, where we rounded to the least number of overall significant figures. So here we have to look at where the decimal place or place value is. Let's look at an example where we're adding with sig figs. Let's take 25.4 added with 472.32. Now the first step is to just do the addition as normal with all the decimals and you should end with 497.72. The next step is to look at how many decimal places are in each of our starting values. Now we've got one written to the first decimal and one written to the second decimal. And we need to round to the least number of decimal places, which is the first decimal. So let's go to our answer, round to the first decimal and report 497.7. Sometimes it helps to visualize these numbers stacked on top of each other so we can see how the decimal points line up. You might notice that we don't actually know what's in the second decimal place of our first number so that when we write our answer, that second decimal place is actually unknown. So we're not going to include that decimal place in our final answer. Now let's look at an example where we're subtracting two numbers. Let's start with 37.438 minus 6.50, which should give us 30.938. Then we have to go to each of our starting values and look at how many decimal places there are. We have one reported to the third decimal and one reported to the second decimal and we need to round to the least number of decimal places, which will be the second decimal place. Now let's go to our answer and round to the second decimal place. This will give us a final answer of 30.94. Now again, it might help to visualize these numbers stacked on top of each other so we can see how the decimal places line up. Now we know the second decimal place for both of our values, but in the third decimal place, one of our values has a big question mark. So we don't actually know what that number is. And we're only going to report the decimal places that are known. In this example, that's the second decimal and higher. Thanks for watching. Take a look at the next couple videos to see some more examples of calculations with significant figures.